I was fortunate enough to get a last minute invite to the dagger challenge and after having a look at this slack group and seeing how far the others have already come, I knew I had to start immediately. So I began with the most obvious part, the guard. Yeah, welding around the billet was no fun at all. The brass seemed to almost explode, which constantly knocked the weld off. I welded it around a second time to get it as sealed as possible. As this was my first dagger, I decided to start off with a rather simple blade design, which I could replace if I've got time to spare after finishing the handle and fittings. For that I chose this file, which almost had the right dimensions, but needed to be annealed first. Meanwhile, I could forge weld my brass and metal guard. Since there is brass in between the metal, I only needed to heat the billet to around 950 degrees Celsius so that the brass would melt and stick to either side, holding them together. It looked like I had already beaten out all the brass at this point, but thankfully it ended up being fine. But before I can continue with the guard, I need to profile the blade. Alright, now that I have the blade roughly shaped, I can continue working on the guard. And now as the last task for today, I began cutting the wood for the handle. It's meant to be a segmented handle with a piece of brass in between. You may be wondering why I'm constantly jumping back and forth between half finished parts and the reason for that is the following. As mentioned at the beginning I joined the challenge pretty late which meant that I already had a very tight schedule to finish this dagger. Especially since the workshop is here at my parents while I live over here in Flensburg. And because I've got work and university during the week there are only so many weekends where I can actually work on knife making. So my idea was to work on as many things as I could up to a point where I could continue them without being in the workshop. So things like sanding and decorative work. For that I've got this tiny bench vise that I always use when I'm working at my place. Not a whole lot of fun working on this, but it's definitely better than nothing. I'm spending the weekend at my parents' place because it's my grandmother's 93rd birthday and we're celebrating that, so I'm packing all my stuff. All right, I just came back from grandma's party and the knife is all done, prepared for tomorrow. But I also need to prepare the guard as well.
Okay, I almost got the guard fit up, but now I need to round the Ricasso area. Whoops, I messed up the guard. I was experimenting with some file work and yeah, this looks horrible. But this one is actually quite nice, so now I have to make a new one. I've got this beautiful dark wood that I'll make the handle from. While the pottery oven was heating up, I began working on the new handle. Now my plan was to heat up the blade, pour some flux into the groove and then fill them by casting brass in there. This really didn't work out as planned. The brass didn't cover the whole groove, so I tried putting it back into the forge to slightly melt it again. Now of course the brass on the other side was upside down, but I just had to give it a try and hope that the surface adhesion keeps enough in there. It didn't. Originally I had planned to harden the blade as well, so that I could do the hand sanding at home, but since the blade looks horrendous as it does, I had to scratch that, which meant that I'm much further behind my schedule than I thought. I'm finally back at the workshop with only a few days until the deadline. This time I tried using a welding torch to melt the brass, but the only brass rod I had was 4mm which was a bit too thick. Now of course it would be boring if this had worked. This time I was left with these nasty holes all over the brass. But since I was already out of time I just went with the holes and started grinding out the fuller once again to see whether the holes are noticeable or not. Alright, I've got the handle sanded to 400 grit and I've already marked out where the file work will be with my caliper so that the lines are evenly spaced. All right, time to make the spacers. Okay, I'm done with filing, but the finish isn't as durable as I hoped, so I'll just do the exact opposite of it and put some quick bluing on there again and then sand the high spots. It's half past five, I just got up to get some editing in before breakfast, but as you can see I'm in good company. Today I'm finally heat treating the blade. Since brass has a pretty low melting point, I use the pottery oven again because that is the only thing where I can somewhat control the temperature. The brick that the knife is attached to fits perfectly into a slot on top of the oven. And now we're waiting for 880 degrees Celsius and then put it in for 10 minutes and quench it. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh. <laughs> das ist auch immer schön, wenn man was in der Hand hat, was man nicht fallen lassen will und dann einfach anfängt zu brennen. <lacht> Sadly, the oven was still too hot and a bit of brass leaked out. So I quenched the guard a bit cooler.
Okay, for the coffee etching, I try to be very precise. Everything that fits is the right amount. Alright, finally the last part and that is the screw that's holding everything together. <laughs> okay, time to sharpen this and then let's cut to actual daylight and I'll show off this bad boy. Okay, I've got to get up in four and a half hours, so I better hit the bed. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, definitely check out the other Dagger Challenge videos. All of them are linked in the description as well as a form where you can vote for your favorite Dagger. Alright, see ya.